Today on We'll Bake for Food, I'm going to show you how to make this deliciously flaky tart crust. Only food for me. Food, food, food. Welcome back to We'll Bake for Food. Have you ever been to a restaurant and in the pastry case, what you see is this beautiful tart with the ridges on the outside filled with a pastry cream? Well today, I'm going to show you how to make that tart shell. You can find a full list of instructions and a full set of ingredients on my Will Bake for Food blog. Now, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is weigh out your dry ingredients. So I have a scale here and I have everything that could contribute to my weight already on top of the scale. I'm just going to turn it on and have my ounce setting here. You need about 10 ounces of all-purpose flour. It's about two cups, but just measure it just in case. Almost exactly two cups, okay? Now, the next thing that we need for this kind of dough is um, confectioner sugar, because this is what's called a pot sucre, which is basically a pastry crust that has um, an egg and confectioner sugar in it that makes it just a little bit more tender. So you need about one ounce of this, which is just about a quarter cup, almost exactly a quarter cup, right? You need to measure it out just because the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients have to be pretty close to the same ratio so that you don't have a crazy wet dough or a crazy dry dough. And just to ensure that they are mixed completely, I like to whisk them as well. In order for this pastry crust to work the best, everything must be ice cold, chilled. So I've cut this butter up just it's been out sitting out in room temperature for about, I don't know, three or four minutes while I'm getting everything ready. And I've cut two sticks of butter here in little one three quarter inch cubes or so. And I'm going to put these in and I'm going to try to separate them as much as possible. So we're going to rub this in and it takes about two or three minutes to get all of the butter pieces into small sand like pieces. So when I was prepping everything, I ch uh, went ahead and separated my egg yolk and I chilled my water with ice uh, just because it was going to take me a minute to get everything ready, right? Um, you don't need to do that. You can use straight out of the tap water, but um, I had to chill it like this. So we want two tablespoons of water to go in with your egg yolk. Okay, and keep that water handy just in case you need a little extra depending on the moisture in the air and then make a well in the center here dump this right in and mix together you want it just to come together now i learned one time <laughs> when i was doing this that if you work it too much and you get too much gluten built up you will get a shrunken tart so we're just coming together here you don't even need to add any more water or anything. It's kind of sticky. It's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I made this into a disc. I'm going to wrap this in saran wrap, so about 30 minutes in the refrigerator, and then I'll show you the next step. The next thing that we have to do is dust our surface because it, this is going to be really tacky. And then I'm going to actually dust my rolling pin a little. It doesn't hold on much, but the, it will keep it from sticking to your rolling pin. And then pretty evenly roll this out into as much of a circle as you can. It's The dough, once it gets chilled, it does like to crack ever so slightly. But if you can, rotate it just a bit and it'll come back together, I promise. And you can see, I don't have the ability to show you, but you can see the marbling of the butter in here and it's kind of quite amazing. So I have an 11 inch removable bottom tin here and I'm just going to put it on top and just to make sure that my pastry is big enough, I'm going to say it needs just a little bit more here to roll out just so that it will cover all the edges. So the next thing to do is um, we're going to just gently pull this crust up and roll it back over top of our rolling pin, okay? It's okay if a little bit of butter sticks there, okay? It's pretty forgiving. Just roll it back over top of your rolling pin, okay? 
roll it back over top of your pan, okay? And be very careful because it doesn't it doesn't hold together crazy. Remember, it's going to be really flaky and we didn't get a lot of gluten developed in there. Now, at this point, I like to cut mine because then we can spread it out just a little bit more and it will rise up the sides. So just take your rolling pin and cut on top of your shell and it's strong enough that it'll cut through okay and get rid of all that excess now you can save it if you need to fill in a hole or a gap or something like that now continue to press on the sides and you will notice that it's coming up over the edges just a little bit and that is totally okay because even though we've been very careful not to develop a lot of gluten in here and make sure we chill everything, it will shrink ever so slightly. So you want to make sure that you have enough that goes up above when you do this. So pop this into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes and just let it chill and you don't need to worry about covering it so much pop it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes let it chill and if you want to wait until now you can preheat your oven at 375 so we're ready to bake our crust and it's rested in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes just to chill there are several schools of thought here but the one that is really cool and actually works really well um, for baking this is we need to use some cling film and you're like, oh my god, that's going to melt. Well, it doesn't. It's very odd. It doesn't melt. So anyhow, I'm going to put two different layers of cling film here. Okay. And then notice I have gone really far stretched because what we have to do is um, wrap it up in just a second so that it doesn't touch any metal because if it touched metal or anything inside the oven it would definitely melt and then I have some baking beans here or pearls however you'd like to call them and we're just going to spread those as evenly as possible here because with all the butter and stuff in the crust what would happen is this would totally puff up okay so I'm going to spread that on the bottom here really evenly and then pull all as much as you can of your plastic wrap inside here okay just so that it isn't touching any metal or anything like that okay so we've been in the oven for 20 minutes and you have a couple of cracks around there but I just wanted to show you how easy this is if you just lift that right there whoop, pop it back in the oven for five more minutes just to let the bottom brown a little bit and then I'll show you what's next after I pulled it out of the oven, I let it sit for about 15 minutes in the shell just so that it cooled down a little bit and so it won't crack when I unmold it. So here is the test. Dun, dun, dun. So just stick your hand in the bottom here, take that off like that, okay? And then here is the next test. Will it come off of our pan? And usually it slides right out. Et voila! Go ahead and let this cool completely and then if you need to store it overnight or something you can wrap it in saran wrap and chill it in the fridge. Um, but make sure that when you fill it with pastry cream or whatever that you're ready to serve it because the pastry cream will weep or something and you don't want a soggy bottom. <laughs> so that's how you make a tart shell. This is Will Big for Food and thank you for watching. Bon food.